Hello everyone. Recently, a friend who's doing movie production introduced me to Reillusion 3D software. After about two hours of setup, learning the basic tools, controls, and some features, I can say I'm really addicted to it. If you've been following my content for a while, you know I'm not a 3D artist. I have no experience using 3D software to create 3D objects or animate them. But using Reillusion iClone 8 and Character Creator 4, I was able to create characters with very specific action scenes just within that two hour learning window. Here's the first scene I tried with iClone. It lets me control every character movement frame by frame, every part of the body, every joint. Although my first try, the movement was not perfect, but I can see the potential of it working with AI video mode, especially I don't like to gambling for random motion in text to video and image to video generation. Then I try it again by importing FBX motions in Character Creator. All of this I created in iClone in a short amount of time, and then used the recent update AI Render features to generate the video scene. The best part? AI Render integrates Comfy UI. So there's zero learning curve for me here. All I had to do was add the Comfy UI Reillusion custom node into my existing Video 2 video workflow, import it into AI Render, and it was done. The Comfy UI Reillusion custom node has its own purpose. It integrates with Reillusion software like iClone and Character Creator, pulls the 3D render data, control net output, and comes with a set of Comfy UI workflows to automate the AI render task. So first, we're going to see how to do the Comfy UI setup, especially installing the custom nodes. When you load the demo image to image workflow in here, the first thing you'll see is a red box. You click the Comfy UI manager, and then you're gonna search for the Reillusion custom node right in here. Once you find it, you install that. Pretty easy stuff. Restart your comfy UI, refresh your web browser, and you'll see these nodes appear. The first thing you'll notice is RL Set Control Net and RL AI Render UI Core. These two custom nodes are the ones you're gonna use a lot with their AI Render plugin. Now with RL Set Control Net, it gathers the control net output image or the output video from Reillusion and retrieves those control nets back into the Comfy UI workflow. So because of that, it's not going to use the Comfy UI open source control net models to generate the poses, depth maps, or canny edges. Coming back to the beginning of the workflow, you'll see RLAI render UI core. All those input parameters are pulled directly from the Reillusion software and some tools. You'll see the input type. Output type can be image to image or video to video. Or maybe you can even try image to video as well. So far, this is basically the setup process, the basic one for image to image. And this workflow is what you'll use for your pre made video to video pre processing, which means we're going to prepare the first image frames for our video to video processing in the AI animations. But when you click Run in Comfy UI here, it shows an error because the render image isn't found. That's because it only executes in real time when you're running the software as a plugin. And remember, one more time, save your workflow as an API format, just like right here. And I've got both Flux image to image workflows. I'm gonna share all the links and these two workflow demos in the video description below. You guys can check it out and try it yourself. Now, here are a few things you can install to get started with the Reillusion software for making 3D stuff. First is the Reillusion Hub, which includes some software like the one you just saw. iClone and Character Creator, both are in this package. And second of all, if you're really into Studio Gray 3D animations, you should definitely try this out. And for AI Render, there are two zip file packages you gotta download. These are the plugins for those two software. I'm currently mentioning iClone 8 and Character Creator 4. Both of them have their own plugin for AI Render. And first of all, since I've already installed the iClone 8 plugin for AI Render, I'm going to walk through the Character Creator 4 plugin installation in this video. Now, for Character Creator 4, the file structure for the plugin is right here. You'll have the Character Creator 4 full patch installation files. First, we're going to double click this and install it. Super easy, super simple. Once you see the installation steps for the patch, every step is gonna be really easy. Just click next and it'll automatically help you install it. But remember, 
you have to have Character Creator 4 installed in order to install this patch successfully. So right after the patch installation, you press OK to finish. Same installation steps for the iClone 8. They have free trial versions, so you can play around with it first. And the next step for the AI Render plugin is going into this one folder where you'll have the setup for connecting Comfy UI. Since I've already installed this in before, I don't need to repeat this step again. But for first-time installations, you should go through this setup.x as well. So, both AI Render plugins for iClone 8 and Character Creator 4 both need to be installed through the Reillusion Hub right here. So let's try out Character Creator first, and then we'll use it to create motions for the specific character we need. Then we'll move over to iClone and animate our character's pose, frame by frame, so we can dial in every single detail of the pose. Okay, so in Character Creator, by default the layout looks like this. You've got the content panel on the left, the middle area where you play around with your character, and on the right side is where the modification features are. Now, first we're going to try a very simple basic thing, like making your character walk, jump, or punch some stuff. They have a template library you can play around with. There's a lot, not just one or two free templates, but like a ton of stuff. As you can see, different folders, creatures, you know, all kinds of object. And I've even played around with the dinosaur. You can just drag and drop it in here, start with the 3D object, press C, and you can rotate it to see how it looks. Or you can go up here. There are a lot of buttons. Anyway, I'm just a beginner with 3D software, but I'm still kind of interested in playing around with this tool. And for more tutorials, you can check out their YouTube channel. They've got a lot really in-depth stuff diving into all the features and how to use them. Another thing is the character in here that's already compatible and ready to use. You've got a very detailed ready-made character, male and female, all body parts, styles. For example, any part of the body here, any joints, everything you can customize yourself. And basically, also the facial expressions here. You can customize those too, using the tools on the left in the Modify panel. Well, I'm still new to this, only like 3 or 4 hours playing around with these tools so far. But still, I'm really enjoying this. Like, to be honest, even though I'm not a 3D guy, I'm still able to pick it up really fast. Get a character set up at least. You can use mocap to capture your motions. Save as FBX. Then import into Character Creator 4 for character motion. And Reillusion also have motion templates. Hundreds of thousands of templates in here. Some free resources you can play around with for facial expressions and also motions. So for example, if you want this guy to die, just drag and drop the dying motion here. Then you see him fall to the ground like this. Pretty intuitive and very easy way to make animations, just combining different timelines of actions. Here, you can make a character go through a sequence of movements, but for more detailed character movement, we're going to move on to iClone, because that's where you can customize your character's pose piece by piece, frame by frame, and animate every body part exactly how you want. Okay, so in iClone, as you can see, we've got a very customizable feature called AccuPose. We're able to adjust any joint or body part. Basically, anything here is customizable for the pose. Now, the first time I tried this, when I recorded my progress playing around with the software, I didn't know how or where to import motions using those pre-made FBX motions. So I was doing every single frame by hand adjusting the character's arms and legs in each pose. And luckily, iClone 8 has AI model-trained pose presets, so between each frame, when it moves to another direction, it's able to render smooth transitions of the body parts from A to B. In this example, I was trying to set up two guys in starting poses for a fight scene. As you can see, it starts to look like two guys doing Wing Chun. Then they're posing, raising their hands, ready for Chi Sao. And right here, I made the character bending down a bit and also adjusting the feet on the ground. And that was pretty tedious work. Then I realized, as you can see in the content menu on the left, there are all these pre-made animations and motions we can actually use. I found out we can import our own motion capture FBX files. For example, you can create some motions using mocap exports as FBX, and Reillusion also have motion templates, hundreds of thousands of templates in here. Some free resources you can play around with. As you can see in the left side menu here, 
I dragged and dropped those motions and pre-made animations. Like I mentioned, I already had some FBX motions imported into Character Creator. And it's also connected across both software since this is a suite of tools that links both programs together. So in the motion section for external files, I imported some of those and they also have 3D scenes. Because when you look at the background here, it's all black or dark. And if you want to actually see how it looks in a real 3D environment, you can pick something like this modern city environment. I tried it out with these two guys standing and getting into their Wing Chun poses. And it looks okay. I've browsed around. It kind of feels like it's in a game. Like a Sim City game. You can also use a controller or keyboard to control the character's movement wherever you want the character to walk using the motion director. That can be recorded too, so you can capture the motion based on how you control the character walking or moving. So the second try here goes back to my fight scenes, because my ultimate goal with AI videos is to do some fight scenes and action movie stuff, and I saw that this tool has the potential to let me really dive into every single action and movement of a character. So I was trying it out with these two characters on screen. You can see different camera angles, align them face to face and start some combat scenes. Another cool thing about this tool is you can control the camera on every frame. That means I can rotate and move my camera to whatever angle I want without the limitations you usually get in AI video models. After that, we use the AI render feature. I just click it on the top menu bar and it starts pointing popping up the Comfy UI interface, letting me connect to Comfy UI. This time, I'll use the Comfy UI that came with the Reillusion installation. It's the portable version. First, I'm gonna try it with the pre-made template in the AI Render plugin. So once we're connected to Comfy UI in the back end, we don't close it. We leave that command prompt window running on your system. Then we click the AI Render button again on the top menu bar, and you'll see this. All the pre-made templates are ready for you. You can actually do image to image and video to video. Let's say we're gonna try one of the pre-made ones. By the way, as you can see at the bottom, I've already imported two custom workflows I made myself. I'll import them and show you that in the next steps. First, we're gonna try the Realistum style video to video. First of all, when you click and choose one of the pre-made templates, a panel pops up and you'll choose the control net. Now, the important thing with ControlNet is choosing the right type, especially the depth map. Here, you have to choose the depth camera settings that show enough detail for the distance between characters, objects, or the depth of the scene as a whole. So do some tweaking in here until you see both characters' depth maps appear with enough detail. Next, you'll set up the output resolution and some text prompts, then click the preview button. Once you click it, it might prompt you if you haven't installed some AI models. Like here, I needed the SD 1.5 model to render the first frames. So just follow the pre-made installation setup. Once the model files are downloaded, click the preview button again, and it'll start rendering the control net with your updated settings. In AI render, it'll take a little while. The different control net renders for the video footage plus the 3D video export all start processing in the back end. In Comfy UI, you can bring up the command prompt window and check the status. And once it's done, it'll first show the render preview of the first frame in the left panel here. If you have your own image for the first frame, you can import it directly into the AI render control panel too. The next step is to press the render button. You'll choose whichever pre-made video to video template you want. You can try different ones. I used one 2.1 Vase Fusion X, so after testing a few times, I tried one with dynamic camera motion and then a second attempt with static camera motion just to test how each one looks. And so far, it looks pretty cool. And by the way, if you right-click and click Browse on each result, you can go to your history and see all the generated render images for the first frames plus the control net video. Also, the generated results are right here with attached JSON workflow files and all the settings from the rendering process. It shows all the results in a folder for each render history. You can go through them in detail, see how each render and control net looks. So that's basically it. This is how you use AI render with three D made animations, generate AI video. And right here, I've also got the Flux Image AI render for image generation. 
as well as other video to video templates. So I'm going to add my own custom template, show you guys how that process works in the AI render plugin. First, it'll pop up the add AI render panel. You'll choose the first preview window. This is for custom workflows you want to add for image generation. For example, I have a flux workflow for image to image generation. I'm going to select that one and it'll be added to the AI render process. Then the next step is selecting the video render workflow. There are a few ready-made templates you just saw, like the WAN 2.1 vase and other versions of this AI model. And I've got my own WAN 2.1 vase Fusion X with some different settings in my JSON file here. Once again, remember, use the API format files. This isn't the normal comfy UI loading workflow format. Once you add two workflows, one for the first frame image and one for video to video rendering, you'll want to add other info like the name of your AI render template, etc. Once you're done, just press OK and it'll be added to your AI render plugin. You can start using it just like I showed in the earlier steps, setting up control net, adjusting AI render video dimensions, and so on. So overall, this is a great tool for production, especially for studio post-production and the digital advertising industry. By the way, Reillusion has a full tutorial and free webinar taught by filmmaking professionals on how to use this for 3D animation with AI rendering. You might get some inspiration from them and apply it to your AI video work. I'll link that in the video description. I know it's not for everyone. This isn't your typical comfy UI setup, especially if you're the kind of person who just wants to download a workflow and click generate without thinking too much. But for the real players, this can seriously cut down production time and let you customize any action or movement. That's a big plus. As for the learning curve, honestly, not really an issue for me. I went from having zero knowledge of 3D software to creating actual clips in just a few hours. The main point is think outside the box. When you combine this tool with AI, you can actually leverage it to create better AI videos instead of just gambling with text to video or image to video. Once again, thank you to Max Thomas and Reillusion. I'm really enjoying Character Creator and iClone for animation, and I've learned a lot from this. Hope this video gave you some takeaways, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.